Let's take a look at one of the major issues um, in the community as a whole, and that is the issue of children growing without fathers and uh, men who um, are later adults who never been with a father. We are also going to take a look first at what happens in the animal kingdom uh, when this happens. Um, let's look at the quick brief video with elephants. Insert a microchip into the, into the shoulder. The rangers have to count these animals to protect them. 10% of the rhino population was being wiped out, 39 during the killing spree. Dead rhinos started turning up all over the park, and it clearly wasn't the work of poachers. The rhinos' horns hadn't been touched. The park rangers soon found themselves cast as cops conducting an investigation. And their first findings led them to believe that if they were to round up the usual suspects, they'd need a pretty large holding pen. That's because this is one of the prime suspects, a killer caught on home video terrorizing a group of tourists. It turned out that young male elephants were behind the murders of Killensburg's rhinos. First, because you didn't want to believe it. Yeah, you don't want to believe that an elephant uh, is capable of killing a rhino. Why would they do it? Well, like juvenile delinquents from urban jungles, they'd grown up without role models. The difference is they don't have a father. Everyone needs a dad. <laughs> I think everyone needs a role model. And the, these elephants that left the herd had no role model and uh, no idea of how to, what appropriate elephant behavior was. There was no way to relocate these large adults, so a tough decision was made. Kill the adults, save the children, who were easy to transport to other parks. I think it was a good idea. Dr. Haim Ebedes was the government veterinarian who approved the relocations back then. Did it occur to you at the time that you were proposing this, this notion that moving young elephants without their parents could be problematic? Yeah, I did think about that. But the program created a whole generation of traumatized orphans thrown together without any adults to calm them down or teach them how to behave. And the solution turned out to be the biggest Big Brother program in the world. The Rangers went looking for big daddies, role models to keep the youngsters from mating at an early age when they can't handle those raging hormones. The problem you had here was young bull elephants becoming increasingly violent. And your solution was to bring in some even bigger bull elephants. It was like teenagers running on the loose. That's right. And, and all of a sudden, Dad comes home. Suddenly, he's there. And mm -hmm. Dad is very obvious to them. And in Dad's presence, we, we predicted they wouldn't try and assert themselves. And now, was it, was it just Dad's size, or did Dad's behavior influence them? Dad's behavior as well. One study actually showed that boys uh, were affected more than young girls when uh, the dad or a father figure uh, was not present. Uh, boys actually uh, had more delinquent behavior and girls' behavior was totally independent of having a father or not in some cases, well, in the majority of the cases. And uh, this study was actually uh, done uh, from the University of Melbourne. The same study showed that boys that had some type of father figure in their lives did not engage in much delinquent behavior than their peers who did not have any father or father figure. We cannot ignore that the issues that face our community are based on the father factor. Some of the issues include poverty, um, emotional and behavioral problems. Um, one study showed that uh, father-child contact was associated with better social, emotional, and academic functioning. 
uh, the maternal and child health. Um, sometimes children actually had a higher mortality rate when the fathers uh, were not in the household. This also goes for um, people uh, being uh, impoverished because there is no father in the household and it's only a single family household. We can go on with the issues of incarceration, crime, teenage pregnancy, child abuse, drug and alcohol abuse. All of these issues um, tend to climb higher in rate than normal when the father is not there. Um, one of the things that I found odd is that uh, studies also shown that childhood obesity uh, is more prevalent in households where there is no father and of, co of course um, we all um, understand uh, the issues um, in education um, and also academic achievement. Let's talk briefly concerning um, single mothers. Um, we're not going to make this an issue of mothers versus fathers or male versus female. Um, the larger issue is that the single mom is not abandoning her child or the orphan uh, rates will be higher. Um, they will be at 70 percent but instead the single um, headed household is at 70 percent. Uh, the single mom is doing her best. Um, she's doing a two-parent job and um, the fact is not all of them can do it all and a lot of them are seeking for committed relationships to um, fix uh, this problem. Truth is truth wherever you find it and I like to find truth um, anywhere and it has no color. Uh, what I did find was this comment on Yahoo concerning being raised um, with only a mom um, and this is a Caucasian guy who actually relate his experience um, of not having a father as his lesson on to how to be a father. Um, he decided to do um, or he says he decided to do exactly what his father did not do. Um, he also talks about um, how he made sure that he wanted to provide a stable home for his children and for his um, wife. So you can learn um, from past mistakes of others. It's never too late to learn. I have no affiliations um, with this website, but as I went on a search, um, on this topic, I actually came across the art of manliness.com. It's a clever site um, with anecdotes and articles about um, different men who share their experience as they reached and climbed towards their manhood and how they continue to climb uh, to this day. If you want some inspiration, um, go ahead and check it out. I mean, it's uh, really good truths, and I'll actually bring in some later in this uh, presentation. On the same site, uh, one man explains what he learned um, what was a father. Um, he uh, learned that it doesn't make you a father just because you make a child. We know this. Um, he also learned that a man needs to be self-sufficient. Um, a lot of times gaining education, not always formally, but in some way. Um, he also learned about not letting fear stop him and that becoming a man doesn't come with age. This, these are good. Um, he also learned about mental strength and um, learned that your father doesn't need to be your father figure. That's a good one. What also came from the site is what a man isn't and what a man is um, from what the author believed. And some of these can hold true to you. These are just uh, simple truths. Um, a man uh, is not selfish. Uh, a man uh, should not make excuses um, and a man should not run from uh, their responsibility and a dad is a dad when he earns it uh, so these are some other truths that came from that website but you can seek out uh, other information the internet is your oyster it's a library 
we should all strive uh, towards perfection. That's man, that's woman. Um, each day you should try to improve on yourself as a man and as a woman or as a young woman or a young man. Be honorable. Um, if you lack anything, um, train yourself. Learn. You know, learn from other people. Learn from um, your experiences. Um, be honorable. Live right. Be respectable. Um, but never give up. Um, you know, take care of yourself, YouTube. And uh, briefly, I have a quick little video um, from a person who I actually respect. Um, I'm not a part of this religion or anything, but um, truth is truth no matter where you turn. Um, peace out. You got to understand, brothers, when we rebel against God, it gets difficult to hold on to things. That's why the church is full of women. Because they don't have a man to trust in. This is really sad that our girls are growing up, going to college, becoming lawyers and doctors and engineers, and the man is on the corner with his pants hanging down. So well, where will these girls, if they continue in this path, where will they find a man? If we don't produce the man. Is it making sense? Man is the head of woman. Woman the head of the children, God, the head of the man. Now, a man can't be the head of a woman unless he allows God to be his head. That's the divine order of things. Now, listen. As men, we want our women to honor us, respect us, obey us. And they say, come on, man, are you kidding? If we don't show our wives our obedience to God, then we have no right to expect from them what we are not giving to our creator. Now I'm just about where I want to be. Now I looked at the word father, F-A-R-T-H-E-R. And any father, F-A-T-H-E-R, when you project the seed or the sperm, you have furthered your existence into the future. So a father has to be able to further what he fathers. You cannot further what you father by saying, I love you. You can further what you father by doing what God did for Adam. When you make a son and he don't look like your image or your likeness, you're going on the Maury Povich show. <laughs> 